Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it is time. It is time to introduce Falco to his daughter, Millie Earhart. I think the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to let them both go locked up here in this aviary for an hour or so. So let's get these little guys. Heard them. That's our, that right there is our splayed foot bird. How you doing, little buddy? What's a good name for that one besides splay? <laughs> go on. Go on. Go on. This one is out of Amelia Earhart and Vominos. That one will be going to the Florida Pigeon Derby. All right, guys, let's go. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Go inside. You guys got to go inside. Come on. Go on. You know where I want you to go. Thank you. Time to get Amelia Earhart. She's in here with the hens. Right in here. She's been separated for probably about four or five days. So I think she's probably ready. Let's do it. There she is. Amelia Earhart. What a beauty. What a beauty. And there is her mom, Cantadora Hen. Also a beauty. Cantadora Hen um, was bred by Aztec Law. Purchased by my partner at the Alpino. All right, time for some love. All right, I got her. Let's let her in. All right, we're gonna let you in, sweetheart. Never been in this aviary, so. Stretch your wings a little bit, sweetheart. I'm gonna go get your dad. Sounds gross, but I'm gonna go do it. Okay, Falco, where are you? Oh, there he is. He's up here. Here he is. Falco. When Abdiel Pino and I partnered up and started thinking about what birds we wanted to bring in, I knew I wanted to get some blood from uh, Falco Evan in the Netherlands. And so I contacted him and Abdiel and I picked out this bird. And he's shaping up to be quite the breeder so far. No idea how Falco will react, but let's see. We'll give them a little bit of time in here alone. Her instinct is to go inside and join the other birds in the loft, even though she's never been in there. She can hear them in there. She sees the little, the little door that's where she wants to go. So I'll leave these two in here and then we'll go from there. Enjoy guys. Cool, cool, cool. I'm trying to inspire them. Romantic pigeon music. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, it's working. Cool, cool. Oh, heck yeah, it's working. Good. Dang. All right, if anyone needs to borrow that little pigeon song to get your birds to breed, go ahead and clip that. You have my permission. Just use it under the Creative Commons license. <laughs> okay, so I've had them in this crate overnight together might be time to go put them in a nest box. I just got Panaka. I gave her a little bath in that bucket, just with my hands. And now I'm tossing her in here. A vominos. He's doing his part. She's looking. She's noticing him. I think she likes him.
Okay, it's been an hour. Let's go check. Oh look, Panaka is up on top. She is on the ledge up there. Vamos is in the bowl calling. Good job, you two. I'm gonna use Djibouti and Big Boy to foster the youngsters off of Vamnos and Panaka. So since I just put those two together, I'm going to remove these two fake dummy eggs right here. And that will start the process over for these guys. They will be in sync with Vamnos and Panaka. So that'll be great birds in that aviary keep walking a little bit close to the edge they're watching me fill up these drinkers i think we all know what that means we want a bath all right fine we'll get you guys a bath look at thing one he's dropping down like oh yeah come on give me a bath all right guys fine all right dunk what are you doing I am um, feeling pictures of the bath. It's going through these tiny holes. Do they like it? Yes. How can you tell? Because it's going everywhere in it. You're right. Good observation. Okay. Okay, so I just put Amelia Earhart in Falco's box. And then I put the front nest box front back a little bit. Let's see if they're paired up. They spent some time together in the crate. And we got an ice cream truck in the background. Man. Oh, she's bobbing her head up and down. That's good. You guys see that? Now, I could not have asked for better music. Thank you. Oh, heck yeah. Oh, heck yeah. Oh, okay, these two are paired. Fantastic. I wanted to put them in their own breeding cage, but as long as I know they're paired, this should suffice. Success. So now I need to get another pair set up to be their foster pair. So in my last video, I requested feedback on who I should pair Vominos with. And the options I gave were Panaka, this silver kittle hen, bred by Ioannis Saints, the one loft manager of uh, the Black Gold Race. And then the other option was Vominos' grandmother, the Cantadora hen. I got multiple votes for each option. And honestly, there's one person who said both. And that's kind of the way I feel about it, I guess. <laughs> I'd like both. So I'm gonna do one round of this, and then I'll put Vominos with his grandmother, Cantador Hen, and we'll get a round out of that pairing too. Thanks everyone who voted. Here's the next round. Being shipped out. Cut. Few I'm shipping to Cuevas, last few to Cuevas, and then two that I'm shipping to my good friend Wayne Whiteley. Maybe three I'm shipping to him. We'll see. Got to go through these guys and do one final check, one final assessment. <laughs>